We do. And now it's been almost two years, it's been almost two years to the day since that 19 year old was killed. But still, this is the only surveillance video that police have been able to find. And today that family has increased the reward themselves to find out who did it. Now, let me give you a closer look at that surveillance. You can see the suspect jumping the fence in front of this business and eventually runs past it. Police say this happened right after he shot and killed 19 year old Frank Madrano. Madrano was working in construction on a new home in the Greens Point area area when he was approached by the suspect and killed. Police say it appeared to be an attempted robbery, but today, two years later, the family still wanting justice has raised the funds themselves to increase that reward to $50,000, saying the loss of their loved one has left a hole in their lives and they won't rest until they have closure. Uh, we want to do something, you know, get uh, hit, hit this news hard, you know, because this is obviously haunting us. You know, knowing that uh, somebody's out there, you know, and it shouldn't be this easy to get away with murder. Police have released a sketch of what witnesses say that suspect looked like he was last seen jumping that fence in the Oak Ridge Apartments homes area. If you have any information, you are asked to call Crime Stoppers at 713-222-TIPS. Now, once again, that reward has been increased to $50,000 for information leading to an arrest. Reporting live, Janelle Bluda, KPRC Channel 2 News. Janelle.